Before we get into the nitty gritty of my night routine, I need to prepare for my everything shower by getting my hair ready. I wanna say in the past couple years, I've really been taking into consideration how important it is for me to take care of the quality of my hair. That means that I don't use heat on it too often, which is why my hair looks like this. But I really wanna prioritize the overall health of my hair more than anything else. As I get a little older, I get a little more scared of my hairline receding. So what I like to do before and everything shower is use my Miele Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. I have nothing but good things to say about it. I definitely feel like I can tell that I am having hair growth in general. I add a couple drops all over the head and then I'll massage it in for a good like two to three minutes. It's not so much that I have any problems with hair growth. It's more so like I guess preventative to a certain extent because although my hair is very thick, my hairline I don't know why it's weird. Now I need to at the very least let this sit for like 20 minutes. So I always do it before I'm planning on doing something else. See now you get a very good example of my hairline like it's not a good look, guys. So in order for me to really feel like I have my life set in place and to have the utmost productivity the next day, making sure that my room is clean. Right now we're working with a day full of work. I recorded a podcast. This is just leftover clothes that I didn't organize. And even if I cleaned yesterday, this bitch is still gonna look like this. Even she's cleaning. She's taking a shower right on my new pants. These are my new pants, okay? is the most important part of my night. And it's skincare. Wet hair plus this is not ideal. I'm gonna use a little clip. Number one, my old time recent favorite, the Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. A nice healthy amount. What you doing over there? Sleeping. <laughs> you wanna do your skincare routine with me? No. Why not? You can do it. You can be a skincare boy. I like my own skin. What? What I've learned is you want to get it to a good lather and literally do it for like a minute and that's how you actually get all the gunk off of your face. Downside of this cleanser, it tastes like shit. For some reason I always taste it when I wash my face. Now I have like seven different products that I put on my face, but I don't like to use them all the same night. I think what I'm gonna use is a hyaluronic acid and vitamin C tonight. Sometimes I'll use this, my BHA exfoliant or pharmacy brighten up 3% TXA. But obviously they're all acids. I'm not gonna mix them all together. I want to shout out this product so hard. I don't know how highly I can speak of it, but this Skin Fix Bare Triple Lipid Peptide Cream, I genuinely adore. I'm on my like second refill of it and I love it. If Skin Fix is watching, please. It is just, it feels like at least the most nourishing moisturizer ever. And I love putting it on at night because it's a really thick product. And I also read the ingredients. They're very clean and I like that. Yo, there's... 
Someone's getting a fist for dessert tonight. What? Who does that? Who does this? What? Who does this? I didn't do that. No? Yeah. Who is it? When did I do that? The ghost? I thought I put it back for real. That's crazy. Oh, my bad, sorry. I actually thought I put it back. How did I do that? Oh, Sophia's calling me. Sophie, you caught me at a bad time, babe. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm recording a video and I have Dante in the background. <laughs> I just need to know if I'm crazy really fast. Okay. Well, this is a very realistic night routine because this is exactly what happens to me. Random conversation, boyfriend watching reels in the background. Not even. What are you watching? YouTube shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Last step of the skin is this fun little Korean product. It's from Kahi Soul. My mom gave this to me a while back. I never really used it. Then I saw it on TikTok. Can you imagine that that's what made me want to use it? Also, I don't think my forehead looks that big IRL. I don't know why it looks like that on the camera. This is a good product for under your eyes in the spots that you wrinkle dinkle. Mine are right here. It's like kind of buttery, oily texture. Now, for my hair, the only product that I really use while well, it's wet, and honestly, if you guys have like a weird wavy frizzy texture, let me know what you guys use in your hair because I've tried so many different things. Sometimes I use a leave-in conditioner, sometimes I use nothing, and I always end up with really weird wavy hair, but then when I sleep on it, parts of it has become like straight-ish. I don't know, I want to be able to enjoy my natural hair, but it's just not it's just not the cards that I was dealt at the moment. My head looks so big in this camera. Do you think my forehead's big? No. Okay. Anyways, this is a Gizu Honey Infused Hair Repair Serum. Like I said, I'm in the kind of era where I like to take good care of my hair, especially with color damaged hair. I had my hair colored a couple years ago. It still doesn't feel like it's gotten back to its like best condition it's been in. Now it's time to get cozy. My favorite time. know about me is that I'm a slut for a cozy time. What? I think our favorite activity together is getting cozy. If you're wondering what Alex and Dante are doing on a Thursday night, it's getting cozy. True. So what's your favorite cozy activity? Watching Vampire Diaries. That's what I was gonna say. So my bedtime routine really switches up depending on like the day, the energy, the vibe of the night. Sometimes I will read a book. Sometimes I will do some journaling, but tonight is going to be a Vampire Diaries night. I don't know about you guys. I've literally rewatched Vampire Diaries three times and then I put Dante on it and he loves it. I do. Okay, well, honestly, I wish I had more to share with you guys. I feel like I didn't, like, like, my bedtime routine is kind of boring. Like, this is truly what it looks like. So, that's my bedtime routine, with Dante included. He's here probably two out of the, out of the seven nighttime routines that happen throughout my life. So, pretty accurate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. A lot of my viewers aren't subscribed, and at this point in my life, I really need it. So, if you don't mind clicking the subscribe button down below would be greatly appreciated. I'll have my Instagram, podcast, TikTok, everything linked down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Peace.